Okay, so today will be the last topic on chapter 6, Cloud Computing. Uh, what will be covered are the definition, what are the services in cloud computing, different cloud computing layers, public and private clouds, potential problems in cloud computing, advantages and disadvantages, and the last part will be the self-review question. Okay, insyaAllah tak lama ini dalam uh, 45 minutes, paling lama pun. Okay, what is cloud computing? Cloud computing is a set of service-oriented architectures which allow users to access a number of resources in a way that is elastic, cost-efficient and on-demand. But uh, cloud computing ni refer to the online storage lah. Okay, apa-apa yang kita buat secara menggunakan online uh, apps, online uh, storage and so on. Eh. Home and business users choose cloud computing for a variety of reasons because of accessibility, cost saving, space saving and scalability. Okay, applications, uh, com dia ada network lah, you must have network server and storage database and the services. Okay, services for cloud computing. Okay, accessibility data or and or applications are available worldwide from any computer or device with an internet connection. As long as you have internet connection, you can access the apps as well as the data and information available. Okay. Macam contoh, um, um, uh, Google Drive kita gunakan ataupun Google Classroom. Okay, awak, as long awak ada internet, awak boleh access Google Classroom. Hmm, jangan lupa uh, attendance in the Google Classroom and you feature. Ha, tu pun semua tu ialah uh, cloud computing lah. Okay, cost saving the expense of software and high-end hardware such as fast processor and high capacity memory and storage devices shift away from the user. Hmm, awak boleh access macam Google Classroom kan, awak tak payah download semua benda tu, you can access online kan. Uh, all the information, lepas tu lecture saya dalam bentuk YouTube, awak tak perlu download, awak boleh streaming kan, tengok sekali apa uh, sampai habis dan benda tu tak tak melibatkan uh, processor awak, okay. Uh, awak hanya perlu ada minimum uh, processor requirement and minimum storage untuk memory ya, untuk RAM, untuk boleh run uh, for that particular uh, software or file. Okay, space saving, floor space required for server storage devices and other hardware shift away from the user. Awak tak simpan dalam handphone awak, awak tak simpan dalam laptop awak, tak simpan dalam komputer awak. Awak simpan di mana? Di cloud storage. Okay, so uh, jimat di situlah. And then provides the flexibility to increase or decrease computing requirement as needed. Hmm, apa yang awak nak tambah? Awak nak tambah apa lagi? Uh, nak extend ke mana? Okay, all the file, all the software, okay, all the resources that you need or you want. Okay, okay. This is a uh, cloud computing service model SAAS, PAAS, IAAS, SAAS software as a service, PAAS platform as a service, IAAS infrastructure as a service. Okay, SAAS untuk apa? Business user or consumer. PAAS technical IT community, uh, IAAS pun untuk technical IT community. Okay, contoh uh, uh, business process email. Industry application, CRM, EPR, human resource, kita ada Sage, CRM, Oracle and so on. Uh, untuk PAS, middleware, web 2.0, sekarang dah, dah ada web 3.0. Eh. Application runtime bukan uh, bukan PKP je 3.0, eh. web pun dah ada 3.0. Eh. Development tools, database, Java runtime. Eh. This is the example Google tool, Google, apa ni, Google App Engine. Okay, we have uh, engine yard, computing wire, cloud computing wire. Okay, for IAS, service, networking, storage, data center, fabric, load, balancer and firewalls. This is the example here, the packet Microsoft semua ni lah. Yang, yang, yang menjadikan server. Okay, including Google actually. Okay, cloud computing services, consumers and organization relies on cloud computing services to manage IT infrastructure, infrastructure as a service. Provide application, software as a service, access online data, data as a service, and create, test, and deploy application using web-based development tools, platform as a service. Okay, infrastructure. 
It uses software to emulate hardware capabilities enabling companies to scale or adjust up or down storage, processing power or bandwidth as needed. Retailer may need to increase these capabilities to accommodate the additional traffic to their websites during busy holiday shopping season and reduce this setting when the season is over. Okay. Semalam uh, berlaku satu benda yang berkaitan dengan infrastructure. Apa dia? Semalam orang sibuk nak uh, apa? daftar apa nama itu? Uh, vaksin. Vaksin. <laughs> What happened? Sebab bila dia buat macam tu, million of people using the same infrastructure, apa jadi? Dia akan, dia akan hang lah. Macam highway kan, bila dah banyak kereta, bila balik raya dulu-dulu lah. Sekarang dia tak boleh balik raya kan. Kalau nak balik raya, siapa yang balik kampung jauh-jauh kan. Hari raya je mesti jam, highway jam. Biasa balik sejam, kita jadi dua tiga jam. Kenapa sama juga macam ni ya. Infrastructure, bila uh, buat macam tu, dia akan jam lah. Uh, because of, uh, dia, tak, dia tak dapat nak expand the bandwidth. Okay. Sebab benda dia berlaku sekali-sekala kan. Biasa orang guna dalam seribu dua ribu orang, tiba-tiba orang yang guna dua juta orang. Uh, then that, that's what happened yesterday. Okay. So there are two instances of IAS, in storage as a service and desktop as a service. Okay. Yang tu berkaitan dengan infra infrastructure lah. Okay, what is storage as a service and desktop as a service? Okay, the first one. Storage as a service is a, is a cloud storage providers offer file management services such as storing files uh, online, system backup and archiving earlier version of files. Okay, kita nak buat backup biasanya ya, untuk storage as a service. It is useful to tablet and smartphone user because enable them to access their file from all on their devices. Okay, macam uh, Google Classroom tu is uh, cloud storage dia tu. Maksudnya awak simpan dalam Google Classroom bila nak tengok, dia nak boleh tengok. Okay, awak nak buat uh, latihan then you go to the Google form yang saya buat tu kan. Okay. Desktop as a service or virtual desktop. Some companies specify the application security settings and computing resources available to employees on their desktop computers. These images or configuration provide a common desktop work environment available to employees across the across an entire organization. This is because the desktop and its application appear to be installed on the user's own computer. Okay, yang ni dia lebih kepada uh, menggunakan online apps. Okay, software. It describes a computing environment where an internet server hosts and deploys application. For example, edi editing document or photos, sending email messages and managing finances. Uh, a pioneering provider of SAAS application for companies is Salesforce which offers customer relationship management software. Okay, ataupun CRM software. Salesforce users subscribe to modules to handle tasks such as sales and marketing campaigns and customer services. Okay, for platform, application developers need to maintain computers running specific hardware, operating system and de development tools, databases and other software. It allows developers to create, test and run their solution on a cloud platform without having to purchase, configure the underlying hardware and software. So platform kena eh, penting eh. Uh, kalau tak stabil then uh, most probably kita pun tak ada guna lah eh. Uh, this is uh, among the important things. Okay, different cloud computing layers. Kita ada application service SAS, application platform, server platform, storage platform. Okay, application service example MS Live, uh, Exchange Labs, IBM, Google Apps, Salesforce.com, Quicken Online, uh, Zoho, uh, Cisco. Okay, ada pun Cisco, ada pun Cisco. Application platform we have Google App Engine, Mosso, Force.com, Engine Yard, Facebook, Heroku, uh, AWS. Yeah. Server platform Three Terra, ECS, Slicehost, Go Grid, Right Scale, Linode. Storage platform Amazon S3, Dell, Apple. Hmm, sini pun Google Drive pun termasuk sini termasuk Microsoft Cloud. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, application focus and infrastructure first focus for the first three part eh? service application and development they want is application focus. Uh, services, services, complete business services such as PayPal, OpenID, uh, Google Maps and yang tu semua services lah. Okay, application, uh, cloud-based software that uh, eliminates the need 
for local distro uh, installation for such as Google Apps, Microsoft Online. Macam awak kalau guna Google Document, Google Document ataupun Google uh, Spreadsheet. Sebenarnya yang tu ialah Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel tapi dalam Google Google Form eh, dia guna Google Apps. Okay. Development, a software development platform used to build a custom cloud-based application PAS and SAS such as Salesforce. Okay, for infrastructure focus platform, platform cloud-based platform typically provided using virtualization such as Amazon, uh, ECC and SunGrid. Uh, storage, storage, data storage and cloud-based uh, NAS such as Citera, uh, IDs, cloud, cloud NAS. Kita ada Google, Google, uh, Google, Google Storage, yeah. Google Drive, uh, ataupun Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Cloud. Okay. Hosting, hosting physical data account, account centers such as uh, those run by IBM, Hewlett Packard, Navisite and etc. Okay, public and private cloud. Uh, public marketed based on resources offered availability, security, price. While local or private cloud architecture tailored to an organization needs. Okay, macam UITM dia guna dua-dua combination of Uh, public and local cloud atau dia panggil hybrid ni. Ha. Macam saya, saya saya guna private macam untuk email tapi untuk storage dia guna public. Dia guna Google, Google Drive. Saya staff UITM ada unlimited uh, unlimited storage capacity eh, untuk Google Drive. Okay, so this is cloud computing. Tadi kita serverless container, applications, in term of server, virtual server, private cloud, hybrid cloud, public cloud, saya beritahu tadi kan. Database, object storage, data warehouse, analytics. Ini dia punya uh, criteria lah. You can read uh, further in, in in your book. Okay, potential problems. Apa masalah cloud computing? Of course lah kita simpan online apa masalah? Tak ada internet lah. Okay, internet connection. This is among the problem lah bila saya buat uh, Google Meet, Google Meet guna Google Classroom guna bila bila test guna Google Form masalah internet bila hujan lebat especially bila awak guna um, apa dia panggil uh, awak guna handphone ni ya, awak tak guna uh, wifi ataupun uh, macam unify ataupun uh, streamix ya masih awak gunakan um, mobile, mobile devices. Uh, dia sangat-sangat tidak stabil bila hujan. Eh. Uh, so internet connection is one of the problem. Completely dependent on network. Especially when you are using uh, mobile internet. Eh. Okay, cloud site failure. Uh, Backend server network failure may result in inaccessible data. Ada sekali tu berlaku gempa bumi di Taiwan. Eh. Gempa bumi di Taiwan menyebabkan uh, one of the core uh, Uh, sebab internet dia dia ada banyak cara lah dia ada dia, dia guna apa namanya satellite dia guna uh, kabel tapi untuk uh, main kabel dia di, di bawah laut dia bila gempa bumi kabel tu putus okey main kabel putus menyebabkan tak boleh nak nak apa nak nak dapatkan data daripada Google eh. Google bermasalah masa tu tahun bila ya eh? i think last two years sebelum 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 COVID-19, sebelum pandemik COVID-19, pernah berlaku uh, gempa bumi di Taiwan eh, menyebabkan tak dapat akses lebih kurang beberapa jam jugalah jadi isu eh. Siapa yang guna cloud computing bermasalah. Tak boleh nak akses data, tak boleh nak kerja eh. Tak dapat nak guna. Guna software online dan sebagainya eh. Kalau macam nak guna Google Classroom, tak boleh. Google, Google Classroom hang, tak boleh guna. Eh, during that time. Okay. Another one is this sensitive information. How much do you trust the public cloud vendor macam saya simpan semua data dalam Google Classroom Google Drive is it very selamat ke sebab bila kita kata online semua orang boleh access kan password dengan uh, password dengan username tu kita boleh cari uh, awak boleh dapat kalau orang yang pandai dia boleh dapat uh, application integration exchange info when lo uh, when local when local and on cloud eh. 
ini masalah satu lagi bila kita buat secara manual guna berbincang secara fizikal kita save data kemudian kita nak bincang pula secara online nak upload data upload data masalah apa integration saya guna komputer lain awak guna komputer lain bila awak download awak tak dapat macam google google document ni pun ada masalah bila student saya hantar assignment untuk saya semak saya dah mark semak guna tablet kemudian saya upload saya hantar balik kepada dia dia tak dapat dia tak dapat the the whole picture ada yang hilang ada yang hilang kenapa uh, because of application integration dia tak dapat integrate eh? itu pada masalah eh? kadang-kadang platform platform uh, macam kita macam saya sekarang guna Microsoft um, window untuk untuk saya punya presentation ni bila saya upload awak guna Android dah different different platform kan uh, integration boleh tak dia nak integrate okay advantages and disadvantages disadvantages of cloud computing advantages uh, cost saving strategy age high speed backup and storage data automatic uh, software integration reliability mobility unlimited storage capacity collaboration and quick deployment okay we look at one by one cost saving cost saving is the biggest benefit of cloud computing it, it helps you to save substantial capital cost as it does not need any physical hardware investment okay our saya tak perlu beli Uh, server tak perlu beli apa namanya uh, additional uh, computer additional server okey additional network kan semua kita boleh pakai apa yang ada okey also you you do not do not need train personnel to maintain the hardware tak perlu sebab semuanya secara maya eh. uh, hardware semua ada di mana, server di mana macam awak guna Google Classroom sekarang ni kan kita guna Google Meet siapa yang control hardware bukan kita, Google lah ok kita guna je, kita guna servis je the buying and managing of equipment is done by the cloud service provider in this case kita guna Google lah Google Meet kan ok, strategic edge cloud computer offers a competitive edge over your competitors it helps you to extend the latest and applications anytime without spending your time and money on installation sebab dia sentiasa updated as long as uh, kita punya device ni macam komputer saya support lah ha. yang tu paling penting lah kalau komputer awak tak support then you have to upgrade ya ok high speed cloud computing allows you to deploy your service quickly in fewer clicks this is faster this faster deployment allows you to get uh, the resources required for your system within few minutes Okey, nak buka sekejap je kan. Hmm, tak ada, uh, tak perlukan masa yang panjang. Eh. Backup and restore once the data is stored in a cloud, it is easier to get the backup uh, and recovery of that which is otherwise a very time taking process on premise. Semua benda secara uh, kita simpan di uh, online online uh, storage. Eh. Automatic software integration in the cloud. Software integration is something that occurs automatic, automatically. Sepatutnya, therefore you don't need to take additional effort to customize and integrate your application as per your preferences. Sepatutnya tak kisahlah guna laptop ke, guna uh, apa namanya, apa namanya mobile devices. It is automatically integrated. Tapi sometimes ada isu juga lah. Ada file yang akan lari. Dia tak tak seperti yang uh, sepatutnya. Reliability, it, 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 reliability is one of the biggest pluses um, of cloud computing. You can always get instantly updated about the changes. Dia akan sentiasa update. Okay, once your software updated, then you will get the the latest version of the of the apps. Mobility, employees who are working on the premises or at their remote location can easily access all the cloud services. All they need is internet and internet connectivity. Ada internet boleh buat kerja. Tak ada masalah. Macam sekarang kan. Saya dekat rumah je ni. Saya boleh mengajar awak. Dulu saya kena pergi office, Kena pergi. Kena ada whiteboard. Macam-macam kan. Kena, uh, but now awak di rumah pun as long awak ada internet lah. Uh, sebab tu kalau awak tak ada internet. Awak ada masalah then you have to tell us. 
so that we can adjust our our method of uh, teaching teaching method okay unlimited storage capacity the cloud offers almost limitless storage capacity at any time you can quickly expand your storage capacity with very nominal monthly fees monthly fees macam awak kalau awak rasa dapat 5 gig kan untuk google kalau nak lebih then you have to to pay some amount of money okay tapi tak mahal lah berbanding dengan kalau awak nak beli uh, server eh. server million of dollar million of gig at least untuk extra uh, extra storage bayar dalam 20 gig 30 gig dia ataupun 4 gig kan 4 gig dia dapat 50 gig rasanya kalau saya tak silap Okay, collaboration. The cloud computing platform helps employees who are located in different geographies to collaborate in a highly convenient and secure manner. manner. Uh, macam saya, lebih mudah lah untuk uh, macam UITM kami ada banyak banyak branch kan. Okay, setiap uh, cawangan kena buat soalan untuk uh, panggil bank soalan lah, question bank. Question bank untuk setiap subjek. Okay. Maksudnya soalan akan sama ya untuk setiap subjek, untuk setiap kampus, untuk setiap pelajar, untuk setiap kursus. Okay, so how to do it? We use cloud computing. Okay, kita upload ke uh, uh, menggunakan Google Form or we use email ataupun kita guna uh, WhatsApp, okay, WhatsApp apps and so on. Eh. Semua tu cloud computing in terms of collaboration. Okay, quick deployment. Cloud computing give you the advantage of rapid deployment. So when you decide to use the cloud, your entire system can be fully functional in few, in very few minutes. Although the amount of time taken depends on what kind of technologies are uh, used in your business. Basically, dia lebih cepat lah. Okay, quick deployment. Okay, disadvantages. Uh, tadi semua dia punya kebaikannya. Okay. First one, performance can vary. When you are working in a cloud environment, your application is running on the server which simultaneously provides resources to other businesses. Maksudnya, bila saya guna Google, saya guna, kita guna Google Meet, kita guna Google Drive, Google hanya bagi dekat kita je ke servis. Tak, dia bagi dekat banyak, banyak company ya. Masalahnya bila Google kena attack, bila Google kena attack, bukan company itu je kena attack, kita-kita, dengan kita sekali kena ya. Ha, sebab tu dia kata any greedy behavior or DDoS attack on your tenant could affect the performance of your shared resources. Kita pun akan terkena sekali. Ha, bila orang attack Google Meet, bukan orang, bukan company yang guna tu je kena. Kita dengan kita sekali kena. Ha, tu maksudnya the for, the for performance can vary. Technical issues. Technical issues, cloud technology is always prone to an out, outreach uh, and other technical issues. Even the best cloud service provider companies may face this type of trouble despite maintaining high standard of maintenance. Macam mana pun tetap ada technical issue. Kadang-kadang tak boleh upload, kadang-kadang tak boleh download. Macam awak guna you future kan. Oh, kejap tak boleh download, kejap tak boleh upload, kejap tak boleh tengok kan. Uh, itu normal technical issues. Okay. Dia ambil masa untuk uh, to be upgraded lah. Okay. Secret threat in the cloud. Another drawback while working with cloud computing services is security risk. Before adopting cloud technology, you should be well aware of the fact that you will be sharing all co your company's sensitive information to a third party cloud computing service provider. Bila kita guna, bila saya guna Google Drive, bila saya guna Google Form, bila saya guna Google Meet dan sekarang ni kan, maksudnya akan ada orang ketiga yang akan curi-curi tengok, curi-curi data, itu ada, akan ada. Uh, untuk apa tak tahulah wallahu alam. Okey, tapi akan ada yang akan guna. So, hackers might access this information kalau dia naklah. Okey. Macam saya mengajar tak ada lah kod, tapi kalau untuk bila kita berbincang satu uh, projek, okey, yang melibatkan uh, million of ringgit for example, then it will attract hackers to hack those information. Okey, downtime. Downtime should also be considered while working with cloud computing. That because your cloud provider may face power loss, low internet connectivity, service maintenance and macam kalau awak guna uh, mobile devices kan, mobile internet. Ada masanya dia akan ada downtime. Cellcom bermasalah. Satu Malaysia. Satu Malaysia awak akan bermasalah siapa yang guna Cellcom. Uh, itu maksud saya. Macam Unify, uh, last two weeks ada masalah Unify. Unify jadi pelahan. Jadi tak boleh nak buat Google Meet. Uh, 
for example this is the call this is call downtime uh, internet connectivity good internet connectivity is a must in a cloud computing you can uh, you can you cannot access cloud without an internet connection moreover you don't have any other way to get the data, to get your data from the cloud tak ada internet tak boleh buat apa ah uh, ini masalah dia lah kena ada internet macam mana pun kena cari internet kalau tempat tu tak ada internet uh, maka cloud computing pun habislah Okay, and another one is lower bandwidth. Uh, ini pun masalah juga. Eh. Many cloud storage service provide providers limit bandwidth usage of their users. So in case if your organization surpasses uh, the given allowance, the additional charges could be significantly costly. Okay, macam awak lah kalau guna internet out top up uh, 2 gig. Bila awak guna Google Meet ni, 2 gig dah habis. Dia akan automatic putus lah ataupun dia akan slow. Dia akan dah dapat uh, low quality kan. Uh, lack of support, cloud computing companies may uh, fail to provide proper support to the customers hmm, sebab dia online kan like, and, and for moreover we have uh, time difference kan, time differences kita panggil apa time frame differences macam kita di Malaysia ya, Google lebih dekat mana US kan kalau kita ada problem sekarang ni agak-agak dia boleh respond on the spot ke most probably not, okay unless kalau dia ada Google uh, Google Malaysia lah, tu boleh lah Moreover, they want their user to depend on FAQs or online help uh, okay, which can be tedious job uh, for non-technical person macam awak kalau awak biasa guna Google uh, sorry, Lazada ataupun apa tu, Shopee, Shopee kalau tak ada masalah, ok awak beli dapat barang, ok macam saya dah kena dua kali, eh. beli barang dapat lain <laughs> nak pulangkan barang tu, makan berbulan-bulan nak dapat duit balik dan tak dapat duit, awak akan dapat dia refund balik dalam bentuk apa? Dalam bentuk uh, e-wallet So maknanya awak kena beli barang lain daripada Lazada ataupun uh, apa namanya Shopee ha, itu antara masalah uh, support dia macam tu eh lack of support uh, it takes time for you kalau tak ada masalah okey kalau ada masalah then you will you, awak akan rasa ya Allah uh, saya dah rasa dua tiga kali ya eh, beli barang Semenjak PKP ni banyak beli barang online, banyak kali saya dapat barang yang salah eh, sebab uh, supplier yang tak bertanggungjawab sekali tu daripada Indonesia, kalau awak beli barang daripada Indonesia berhati-hati sebabnya dia nak pulangkan barang sangat-sangat susah sudahnya saya dapat apa? barang tu saya dapat salah saiz, saya beli seluar saya beli seluar sepatutnya uh, X, uh, w, uh, XL tapi saya dapat L saya dapat L ukuran salah eh, ukuran salah, sepatutnya uh, Excel tapi dia bagi saya uh, L dekat tag tulis Excel so, so saya nak cakap so buku teks beli daripada Endon tu tak nice lah so kualiti dia dalam tu <laughs> macam foto stay <laughs> berapa ringgit? 50 kan tu Astagfirullahaladzim awak oh, beli dekat Google ke? dekat dekat Lazada? Shopee, Shopee Allah, yang saya bagi tu sebab saya tak beli tu saya bagi ke? Ah, ah, tapi yang tu lah, seller tu lah yang salah Awak tak komplain? Ah, itu antara masalah ni lah <laughs> Maksudnya dia tipu ya Awak patut buat awak komplain dekat situ balik Komplain balik Ah, so macam ada photo state je buku tu Ya Allah, apa namanya muka depan? Muka depannya photo state juga? Tak, ada muka memang muka depan dia cantik Ah, muka depan. Lepas tu sampai kat dalam ni macam ink dah nak habis tu. Ya Allah, patutnya aku komplain lah. Aduh, sepatutnya itu antara kelemahan lah bila kita buat benda-benda online macam ni eh. Kalau dulu kalau uh, kelas face to face, saya akan ambil daripada supplier yang memang memang apa supplier kami lah. Uh, harga dia sama sebenarnya. Tapi cumanya dia akan lambat sikit. Itu masalah dia. Okay. Bila awak beli online, awak kan dapat cepat tapi sebenarnya itulah sebenarnya dia pergi ke photo state juga hanya ya Awak boleh pergi Indonesia, sure eh? Haa -ha, sir, nanti saya bagi sir <laughs> Okay sorry for that Saya pun tak ada, tak dapat nak tolong eh Bagian tu <laughs> Tak apa, ada. tak apa Lain mm -mm. uh, kali insyaAllah saya akan cuba bagi tahu dekat ni lah uh, apa namanya komiti uh, member AI 160 ni kata apa link tu tak 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 baguslah 
Okey. Hmm. Saya pun dah kena ya, banyak banyak benda ya. Ha, bukanlah bukan beli buku lah. Saya macam benda lain lah. Ha. So especially macam awak cakap tadi lah. Eh, kalau dengan Indonesia, be careful. Untuk terms and condition untuk pulangkan barang sangat-sangat susah. Ha. Kalau nak beli barang online sebaiknya daripada Malaysia lah. Kalau China pun masih okey. Indonesia dia masalah. Saya dah kena ya, bermasalah. Sudahnya apa jadi pada saya tadi, dia pulangkan separuh harga. Dia pulang balik separuh harga, uh, harga barang tu uh, RM80, dia pulang balik RM35, tak sampai pun. RM35 rasanya. Uh, jadi seluar tu saya kena jual sendiri, saya kena pula cari pula orang lain siapa yang nak beli. Uh, nasib baiklah dapat kan, at the end saya dapat balik duit saya lah. Tapi satu kerja lah pula kan. Okay. Uh, so that's it for today, habis dah. Itu je. Yang ni staff review question, ada soalan dan ada jawapan lah. You can read on your own ya. Eh. I will try lah. For this one. Okay. Staff review kan. Dan ada jawapan dah kan ya. Eh. Okay. Jadi kita tahu which slide. Uh, do you have any question? So we have finished with uh, chapter 1 until chapter 6. Sebenarnya buku tu pun tak semua tahu. Yang saya buat chapter 1 chapter 6 ni ikut uh, ikut Uh, saya punya uh, apa dia panggil? Uh, saya saya study guna notes tu okey je. Yang yeah. buku tu dah lah tulisan kecil lepas tu tak nampak pula tu. Astagfirullah <laughs> alazim. Okey okey okey. Sebelum awak panjang lebar lagi saya stop dulu. Stop recording. <laughs> okey sir. <laughs>